Uh, hi everyone. So in the previous video we were talking about REST APIs for user, get user, update user, delete user and get user by ID or get user by email. So in this video we will introduce some pipes, uh, data transfer objects to do the request validation for our request payload. Okay. So we already know the problem is that we are not able to validate what we are sending in the payload, right? If you are just sending the post, the empty body is also being passed, right? So how to fix it? So there is a way to fix that is using with the help of DTOs and the pipes. So we will we will apply those pipes on the request uh, validation. So here, instead of user, we will create a DTO classes. Okay, so here. You can create a DTO folder and here I can say user.dto.ps and here I can just create a class and what this user DTO will have email of type string and username. Now how can I add a validation? So Nest.js yes, provide this powerful validation with the help of class validator is email we can add. So all these kind of validation we can have. In string, okay, let me just check. It should be in string and this is coming from class validator okay we have to install it so just So we are adding class validator in our application. After that, we should be able to use all these things which class validator is providing for our classes. So these DTO classes, what we will do is currently in the controller, if you see, we are accepting user, right? Of type user object. Instead of this, it will we will replace it with a DTO. Okay. Now let's go to user DTO and now we can see this is fine now is email this is another validation we have added and another thing what we can do is it should not be empty it is not empty or you can also say is undefined I mean one of the option is defined either is not empty or is defined you can use one of them and similarly for the user right so we have added these email and username field now instead of so we have created a DTO this DTO we will use in here that whatever we are getting in the request body that should represent this DTO okay and to enforce the validation we have to use pipe use pipe and validation pipe okay so what it this will do is it will enforce the validation on this request let me just see what is the error here okay yeah this is clear now same kind of validation you can put on the request parameter also so here instead of doing this what I can say is I am getting params okay here you can say user params and you can create a user params DTO You can create the same in either same class or you can create another one for it. And what we are expecting in the user DTO in this user parameter DTO is an email. And now this can be used at two different places get user by ID and delete user. 
now we should be able to import it this is for delete user so the this params is not having email we have to do a dot email similarly what we can do is same thing for get user by id we are not accepting email directly we are saying that you are sending params of type user detail param yes so we have done the basic validation okay the request payload validation for this yesterday post and http get api get user by id and uh, delete user and what we did is we are using this use pipe use pipe is actually used to add a validation at the controller level and we are using it we are using validation pipe and here it has a lot of arguments that we will see in the documentation what all different options are there you can see the options are validation pipe options and here you can just pass all, all these things disable error message true or false uh, error http status code if you want to return validation custom decorators and all just run our application is it rebuilding or i need to restart it I need to check why it is not uh, restarting on the file change. Okay, now we have we see that our server is running. Class transformer package is missing. Okay, so class validator also require a class transformer package. So we'll just install it. Wait for this is done and now I should be able to do it. Oh now it is working. Okay now my APIs are working. Now I can try this post method and here you can see email should not be null undefined email must be email blah 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 right all these messages are coming even for the username and email so we have to pass both the things now it is passing right even for the get you can also see that so this kind of validation we have added with the help of pipes so these are actually used for custom validation a request payload validation in earlier version of express we used to write uh, joy validation using joy happy uh, actually a module using which you can extract out and you can validate each and every attribute in the request payload this is another way using class validator in nsgs thanks everyone so let's uh, extend this uh, existing version to a little further